you guys doing? I hope everybody is um, having a wonderful month um, so far. So this is your moon, full moon reading. It's going to be kind of quick. It's only going to be a four card spread with one oracle card. And a little bit about this full moon. It is on June 20th and it's like the first time since 1967 that it fell on the same day as the summer solstice. Um, and this is referred to as a strawberry full moon, which is uh, the name that early Native Americans gave it. Um, basically, the like I had said in my last videos, this is about uh, communication and relationships. Um, I'd like to relate this to kind of like love and money also um, and getting things in order. So what, what happens is in the new moon, we plant the seeds and now it's time to harvest and to reap what we sow. So here as the moon is getting brighter and brighter, we're going to be able to see like the real emotions and like the things that we like and the things that we don't like in our relationships and how to change them. This is where you step back and you, you're able to see what's being illuminated and take a balanced approach um, to, to solving it and, and getting what you want out of it. And the effects of the full moon usually last about two weeks um, up to, you know, two weeks after it happened up to the, um, the next new moon, which is going to be on July 4th. So before us, we have the Hunter of Mysteries. And basically, I, on my notes, like when I read the, the description of the card when I first got them, um, I wrote Moon Card, High Priestess, and Magician, because this is what this card reminds me of. And this is from the Shaman's Oracle by John Matthews and Will Kingham. And um, basically, it says, I am the hunter of mysteries, and I seek the depths beyond depths of being in order to find enlightenment. Okay? And it's going to come with you when you are in need of deep understanding and a sense of connection in every part of life. Uh, the totems that I picked for this were the dolphin and the fish. And then um, the meaning of this card means inner truth, deeper awareness, change um in connection to all life uh and i think that's basically what we're, we're going to be focusing on more and more is we want to make sure our relationships and our money and everything is just in order so i'm going to go ahead and give my other cards a shuffle and these are the babylonian tarot by sandra tabitha cicero really love these cards because sometimes when I'm doing reading and I know what the card means I'm like hold up this 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 card doesn't it doesn't feel right and I'll read the story and they're like oh my gosh that's like exactly what's going on so that's one reason why I really enjoy using these cards um so let's see what we got going on over here I'm gonna move the hunter over this will be a four card spread in order just to kind of just basically see what um, energy the moon has for us. So what you need to know is the fool. What is being hidden is the sun. Where to focus is the ten of cups reversed. And where we need to stop being bothered by the illusion or where it says drop the illusion is the queen of disc. And... Our overall energy, I'm sorry you guys, I'm like, I think I'm getting a cold. Our overall energy is the Prince of Cups in Bilulu. I always mess up these names, but I like to at least try. <laughs> so what do we need to know? Basically, we need to know that we are at a crossroads and it's time to make a choice and a decision that it's time to move ahead. It's time to make it happen, Captain. <laughs> This new moon is illuminating things, and it's time for us to take a step in the right direction. Every time I see this card, I think of the person in the back. So I want you to ask yourself who, what, where, and how are things holding you back, and what can you do to make your choice and decision to move on. The full card is attributed to the number zero because that means like you're like you're at the very beginning. This is something new, something that's gonna um, it's the first steps, the first thoughts. And so it, it's going to take a lot of time for, you know, there's still more choices to be made. But you're, you're right there. You're trying to make the choice and this decision. And here we see Enkidu. And he's shown as the primitive man because you have to remember he was half man and half, half human. And um, the lady in the background was sent to um, convince him to come back with her and live civilized. And he ends up going back... Um, 
and he starts, he, he ends up going on these adventures with Gilgamesh, okay? So basically, that is what you need to know, is that you are at a crossroads, <laughs> and you need to make some choices. And, and what, what the word that really sticks out to me is freedom. You know, you have to have freedom. Freedom, you have to have it, make sure that it's your choice and not being influenced so much by others, but make sure that it's your choice and it's the best choice for you. So then um, what's being hidden is the sun and how I'm kind of interpreting that is you're, you're not wanting to make this decision where you're at because maybe you think you're going to fail, but it's saying that you're going to be successful. When the sun comes out, it's a yes, it's a happy outcome, it's a positive outcome. And so Shamash is um, the sun god and as you see him, he's on his totem animal, which is the horse. So if you're unsure of how to harness that energy to find what's hidden, um, look up the totem animal, look up the totem meeting for the horse. And um, I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm like, my nose is going crazy. <sighs> what this is saying is that there's a lot of joy and pleasure that's being kind of being hidden from you. Maybe a birth is being hidden from you, but something is being, being hidden right now. And for some, it's probably just the fact that you are going to succeed. And for others, maybe it's a baby. <laughs> but you're going to find out, okay? Whatever it is, it's going gonna, it's gonna to come out. Everything is coming out because the full moon is lighting it up. All right? So we're at, a, we're at a break. We're at a standstill because we're not sure what we need to do. But the sun is telling us, go ahead, go for it. You know, it, it, it's your time. So where we need to focus is our home and family. And every time I see the Ten of Cups, I think of a happy home. Unfortunately, ours is upside down. So we have to ask ourselves, what are we doing at home that's making our, our, our happy family or our ideal family not work out? Um, and here we see Gilgamesh. And um, this is during the Great uh, Flood. And he's um, swimming around under there. And he's like shown as a merman. So um, this means there's an end of a cycle and a new one. Okay. So basically, it's the end of you walking in the darkness, and it's time for you to walk in the brightness, is what I'm really feeling right now. So you're not appreciating your life right now. Maybe you're not happy with the way things are going. You're upset about something. There's some anger. You've been deceived. You may have lost some friends along the way, and there might have just been like a bunch of disruption. But it's, it's telling you that that's over and that it's time to change. It's time to make that change. Uh, stop, stop wallowing in it and, and let, let's figure out how to make it better. I see 210, so that tells me it's also a good time for you to start deciding on a career change or if you're being offered different positions, start uh, weighing your, your options because you want one that's going to value not just your, your, your ability to be a good worker as far as financially, but also let you be a good family man or family woman or to be able to have time for yourself. A thing is that sometimes we, we're like, oh, well, I'll be making more money, so I'm just going to go. And then we end up spending an extra four hours away from home just to make that extra money. And the ones that suffer from that are our children or our spouse or whatever you, however you want to see it, or our pets sometimes. <laughs> so um, basically that's what it's telling you to focus on is focus on your happy home and, and, and do some changes because there's some changes that need to be made. And the illusion that we need to get rid of is the queen of disc. And the queen of disc is just Justana, and um, she is the Capricorn God's sister, actually, Tammuz's sister. Um, she is one who is able to interpret dreams and, and she was the one who always weeps and it's time to stop weeping and it's time to um, pick ourselves up and get ourselves together and enjoy our life because it really is a good life because we're being unappreciative but it's time to make some choices and some changes is what it's, it's telling us and so when the uh, queen of disc is reversed, well, sometimes we can be controlling uh, or moody or kind of just like narrow-minded and indecisive. Uh, so this is a time for us to kind of settle down. We take a step back and we look at, look at the, the whole picture and nothing but the picture and, 
and make the best decision for our family and for our finances. And family went first, of course, because like I said, um, I always say this, that money can always be replaced, but people can't. And uh, we have to learn to appreciate those things and, and love on them every day. And so the overall energy is the Prince of Cups. And the Prince of Cups, his uh, timing is, okay, I'm like getting excited because it's like five days. So the timing on this card is five days. So within the next five days that we're going to be experiencing all this, this is when it's going to be the strongest for us to make that decision and that choice of how we want our lives to be or what we're going to do to make things better. And that's where we're at at this crossroads. And just know that you have to have faith and that you have to keep it. You have to have faith in yourself um, to make the right choice so that you can move to the next to the next level. And um, the prince is to tell us... Um, there's... The energy can be a little bit um, volatile right now and a little destructive. But there are some things uh, that um, he brings and it's that he's very calm. And so like this might be a very a trying week for you. You might find yourself overwhelmed with the decision and the choice that you have to make. But it's okay. Um, have faith. It, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to work out the way it's supposed to work out. Um, for some, you're going to get um, a message. Either, I always want to say text message. But you're going to get some kind of message. And, it, and it's going to give you something to either give you hope or um, to give you news about the situation that you're in. Okay? And for some, I feel like you're going to get a news about a baby or something, and it's going to shake up your house. That's why the Ten of Cups is there. And you might act like I described the Queen of Discs, you know, moody and upset. But at the end of the day, you have to make a choice and a decision that life is going to go on and things are going to be okay. And what might look like your demise today may be your blessing in, two, in, in the next you know, 24 hours or the next day. So sometimes it's about taking that step back and looking at things for the biggest hole. So overall, the energy for the new moon, uh, not moon, new moon, for the full moon is to um, kind of reap what we sowed um, during uh, the new moon, which was on June 4th. So you're at a crossroads and it's time to make a choice and decision. And I feel that you will make a good decision. I feel that you're going to make the right decision that's best for you at this very moment. Excuse me. I hate when um, a lot of people say, what were you thinking? You know, why did you choose that? And you're like, damn it, because I thought it was going to work out. <laughs> but, you know, that's and one thing that we always tell our clients is you made the best choice that you could at that time. And uh, we're only human. You know, we can't see in the future and see everything that's going to happen because if we could we would stop a lot of things but sometimes if we'd stop those things we wouldn't get where we're supposed to be and um, sometimes we have to hurt and sometimes we have to make mistakes and fall flat on our face to realize that some things just have to happen but this this scene the sun and this reading is telling me that it's a yes and you'll be successful and it'll be okay but don't don't let that success hurt your home life, you know, or your mood, because you have to find balance, and um, that's part of the key in this, is finding the balance of finances and family, okay, so hopefully that helps, you know, and the Hunter Mysteries is with you, he's shining your path, and he's telling you to think about your thoughts, because you're, you know, this is, part of my other training and I'm not gonna it's like your thoughts affect your words your words affect your actions and guess what your actions are going to start affecting your character so um be very aware of your self-talk and what you say to others if someone gives you a compliment I don't know who this is for if someone gives you a compliment I learn to say thank you don't stop it and say, but my, you know, like if someone says, oh, I really, you look so pretty today, but I have such a huge nose or 
God, you look great in that dress. Oh, I need to lose 20 pounds. You're like, well, damn, you know, I was just trying to tell you look good today. Or, you know, so just learn to accept that compliment um, and be humble and kind and and receptive to what the universe is trying to give you right now. And it's trying to give you an aha moment. So accept it willingly and stop trying to uh, hinder it with your moodiness or with your anger or with just being upset because things haven't been working for you in the past. It doesn't mean that they're not always going to be working for you. So hopefully this resonated with somebody. If it did, please let me know. Like, share, subscribe, let your friends know. Um, also let me know if you like this reading uh, as far as uh, it being a lot shorter. I know it helps. <laughs> I have ADD so or ADHD. And my attention span is very short sometimes. <laughs> so thank you all very much. And you guys enjoy this new moon. And take care.